Hi, I'm Coach Elliott, and this is Steal the Bacon. This is your bacon, the Sucker Balls. You want to take them back to your kitchen. Which is your kitchen? That little square house, right? The organization is, within the defined area, use cones to make a small square just inside each corner of the area. Have a team stand outside the area at each corner. A supply of balls should be in the middle of the area. The, the activity is, on the coach's command, two players from each corner must run into the middle, grab balls with their hands, and return them back to their corner. After all the balls are gone from the middle, the players then try to take a ball from the other three corners. No one can defend their bacon inside their corner. Are you ready? Go! Only one, only one person goes! Only one ball and only one person. Once you go back, you can now get another one if you want one. All right, now you can steal from anybody's house. And you can't, hey, 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 you can't protect the bacon. You can't do that, right? You have to just go and get somebody else's. Can't, uh, you can't protect the bacon. You can only take one at a time. You can only take one at a time, right? Only one at a time. Can't protect the bacon. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Only one at a time. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. A variation is the players can use their feet. Dribble it back, just your feet. Once you get in there, the other person can go. The coaching points are, recognize when to use big touches to get away from defenders, and when to use small touches. Which surfaces of the foot make you have more control and speed? Thank you, everybody.